Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you some top-notch websites where you can find good first issues to make your first open source contributions. All right. So the first website is goodfirstissues.com. On this website, you have to fill. You can filter by programming language, whichever language you wish to choose. For example, I want to choose for HTML. I click on HTML and first timers only. Right. Add badges to certain member profiles. It's a good first issue and it's open 12 hours ago only. So if you wish to contribute, you can click on go to issue and contribute. Otherwise, you can click on next and look at the next issue and so on. You can find issues which you would like to contribute to. The next website is issuehub.pro. This is also a similar website. You can choose your labels like good first issue. All right. And I want to search for Java, for example, right? Let's click on find. And then this list appears of issues, right? It's an enhancement issue. It's a good first issue. You can you can check it out. All right. And the list goes on. It's such a big list. You can easily make your first open source contributions if you're willing enough to do it, right? There are tons of issues here. All are good first issues. Some are even documentation issues. For example, you want to find a documentation only, right? So you click on documentation and deselect it. Voila. All the issues which have only documentation tags will appear. You want, you don't want to make any code contributions. You can check this out as well. And the next is up for grabs.net. If you don't want to give out any filters, you can skip that part and simply, uh, you know, uh, look at the issues you have here. So we have nine first good first issues. We have seven novice issues. We have help wanted three. You can check this out and you can contribute to any of those which you like. Now, this is the last website for today. It's a good first issue.dev. It's a very good website and you can find all the issues listed here. For example, if you want to contribute to a particular language, then we can go to, for example, JavaScript, right? Now it was active 18 days ago, a month ago, right? And let's just scroll down a bit. Issue. There's an issue from Facebook draft JS. There are seven issues. Let's just click on it and all these issues open. So if I want to contribute to any of these issues, I can simply click on that issue, avoid empty and style blocks, and I can read about it and I can see if it's assigned or not. See, it's a good first issue. It's a help wanted issue. I can see if it's assigned or not. And if it's not assigned, I can simply chat with folks that, Hey, I want to contribute. Can I contribute? Can you please assign this to me? And if they do so, you can start contributing and make your first open source contributions. All right, then I hope this video was helpful for you all folks. And you can make your first open source contributions today itself and all the best for that and all right have a good day and if you want to know more about hackathons make sure to check this video out